And so this guy has a fake PhD. He writes for a couple hack outlets. He's uh, the founding director of some fake academic center at Boston University, and he milks people out of money as a diversity consultant. He's an entire, he's a scam artist. And then he has the gall to attack this woman's family. He says, some white colonizers adopted black children. They civilized these savage children in the superior ways of white people while using them as props in their lifelong pictures of denial, while cutting the biological parents of these children out of the picture of humanity. Adopting poor kids, orphans from, from bad areas is now a bad thing. Now, of course it's not. And what he's saying, by the way, is white people shouldn't adopt black people, right? That's, that's what's lying at the bottom of what he's saying. And he's the professor of anti-racism. Makes you think, huh, maybe this anti-racism thing isn't really what it, what it sounds like. <laughs> maybe this anti-fascism thing isn't really, really what it sounds like. This is, I, I mean, I, there's no reason to ever listen to this guy. He's a, a total fraud and, and, and what he says is worth less than nothing. But the reason I, I point it out is because it's a very bad look for Democrats. He's saying what a lot of them are thinking, but a lot of uh, professional Democrats, you know, elected people, operatives, they realize this is going to be a bad line of attack. I don't think it's going to play in Peoria. People are not going to like it when you attack this woman's children and attack this woman for adopting children from a, a bad place, you know, in a bad situation and giving them a loving home and raising them and bringing them to the land of the free. If you attack a woman for that, uh, not going to be a good look in November. So this brings us then to the fourth attack. First two, they can't lob. The third one, they do lob, but it looks really bad. The fourth one is attacking her religion. You know, Diane Feinstein already did this, said that the dogma lives loudly within Amy Coney Barrett because she's a Catholic. Same thing, Dick Durbin said this. He goes, what, you actually believe Catholicism? You're orthodox in your, in your religion? That's so weird. What? I've never heard of that before. And then Bill Maher put it in less polite terms. But apparently the pick is going to be this Omi, a Omi, Amy Comey. <laughs> we'll all be saying this name a lot, I'm sure, because she's a nut. <laughs> religion. I was right about that one, too. Amy, <laughs> sorry, but Amy Comey Barrett, Catholic, really Catholic. I mean, really, really Catholic, like speaking in tongues. Like she doesn't believe in condoms, which is what she has in common with Trump, because he doesn't either. Also a terrible look for Democrats. First of all, when Bill Maher speaks, doesn't he just remind you of that like smug 13 year old you knew in middle school? Who, who, whose arguments for atheism were more or less, um, I can't see God. Where is he? I can't touch him. Checkmate theists. Yeah. Um, if God is real, then, uh, why, why won't he manifest himself physically when I demand it? Um, checkmate Christians. It's just so shallow. <laughs> it's so, as if as if people hadn't been thinking of these questions before, as if St. Thomas Aquinas never existed, as, as if the Summa Theologiae didn't exist, as if St. Augustine didn't exist, as if the great geniuses of history, the great doctors of the church, because then Bill Maher comes and says, wait a second, I can't see God, or whatever his dumb arguments are. You say, oh my, okay, well, you're right, there goes my Summa Theologiae, time to set it on fire. Even, think, think about uh, Pope, Pope Benedict XVI. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, maybe the greatest living theologian, a brilliant scholar who has been writing and thinking about God for his entire life. Who do you think has a better handle on these things? Who do you think has more brain cells rubbing together? Who do you think has spent more time in serious contemplation of this question? Pope Benedict or Bill Maher? I hope you enjoyed that short segment from The Michael Knowles Show. Be sure to check out the full episode linked in the description or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts.